Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply. Today is Friday, the 18th of February, 2011, and it's time for biodiesel updates. So let's begin. In oil-related news, waste vegetable oil is currently selling on the open commodities market for 41 cents a pound. That's the equivalent of $3.07 a gallon. New soybean oil, which is fresh oil that's crushed from seed, is running at 54.5 cents per pound, or $4.09 a gallon. Crude oil on the open market, the stuff they make by, um, diesel fuel and gasoline out of, is running at $86.36 a barrel. B100 on the open commodities market is running at $4.46 a gallon to $4.65 a gallon. Some interesting insights. I find it interesting that B100 is running so high and it actually it's about $1.38 above what raw soybean oil is. Um, can't really make a much profit when uh, soybean oil is running, new soybean oil is at 409 a gallon or you know waste vegetable oil is at 307 a gallon. However, if you throw in the dollar per gallon tax credit and possibly a 42 cent per gallon RIN credit, you're now adding a dollar 42 that the federal government is able to give back to the producers. So that's kind of built into those prices. Um, I still think that the waste vegetable oil market is going to continue to rise and I think that we're going to see soybean oils continue to rise as well as biodiesel continues to take off in the commercial industry. Uh, as far as biodiesel events going, there is a wonderful opportunity coming up in March, the first week of March, uh, where if you're interested in learning a lot about biodiesel in a crammed together course, Piedmont Biodiesel in Pittsburgh, North Carolina through the Abundance Foundation is um, going to be putting on an intensive biodiesel workshop. It's going to be from March 2nd to March 4th, 2011. It's going to be in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. Some of it's going to be done at Piedmont Biofuels. Some of it's also going to be done at the Central Carolina Community College there. Um, if you've wanted to learn about biodiesel, both on a small scale and on a somewhat commercial scale, this is the one to go to. Um, you can register online. We'll have links in our video down in the description. So take a look at that. We also have links on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash utahbio. After that conference, that, or after that uh, workshop that week, they're going to have the Sustainable Biodiesel Summit Conference on Saturday, March 5th. This is a uh, kind of like the NBB, the National Biodiesel Board's conference for small small-scale biodiesel producers. They normally do it every year. They didn't do it down in Arizona when the National Biodiesel Board was down there, but they are holding it Saturday, March 5th, after the intensive workshop. One of my personal biodiesel heroes is going to be speaking, and that's John Van Gerpen. Um, if many of you have probably heard the name, or if you haven't, go out and research it. Um, he has really helped pioneer biodiesel in the United States. A lot of his research was put together to help guide the ASTM board as they put together their standards years ago. I've been to one of his courses, the, the week-long course that they teach through University of Iowa and Iowa State, Idaho State University, um, or Iowa State University, University of Idaho, and loved it. I learned so much while I was there. So if you get a chance, this is a great opportunity to go and meet him. Again, it's Saturday, March 5th, uh, 2011. Uh, it's in Pittsburgh, North Carolina as well. If you go to our Facebook page or if you look in the links in this video uh, in the description, you'll see links directly to that. Uh, you do need to get signed up pretty soon. They do have early bird registration where you can get some discounts if you sign up uh, early. Uh, registration prices will go up after that. We also have some new products at Utah Biodiesel Supply that we wanted to talk about today as well. Our first one is really cool and it is a water strainer. It's an inline water strainer. This attaches to one end of a hose or a spigot. This filter goes inside, smashes down in here, you screw on a hose to it and it will filter your uh, water coming into your biodiesel processor or your wash tank to keep it clean. This is a very fine mesh stainless steel screen. It will keep uh, your misters from plugging up and also keeps deposits and junk out of your, your biodiesel as well. Um, it's on our biodiesel washing supplies page and again there's a link links down in the description. We also have a really cool product. I have wanted to carry one of these for many many years ever since I started and it is a glass separatory funnel. Um, it is a thousand milliliter glass separatory funnel. 
you pour liquid in the top of it and you can actually see it separate. Um, it has a stopcock on the bottom to control the flow of the liquid out, but you can pour biodiesel in it. Why I like it so much is instead of using a pop bottle, settling the glycerin out and then turning it over and hoping you don't put bubbles up into the, into the mess and making a mess of it, you can actually put it in this vessel the biodiesel will separate from the glycerin and you can drain the glycerin right off the bottom. You can also do little tiny mini washing batches right in this vessel. Uh, you can do test after test on them. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful tool to have in your laboratory. We sell it as a separatory funnel itself or with a stand or with a ring if you've already got a stand or individually. So, link down in the description of our, of our, um, of our video here. Also, we are excited to introduce three new big glass beakers. Um, a 2 liter, a 3 liter, and a 4 liter glass beaker. These beakers can be perfectly used to make mini batches. You can do all sorts of mini uh, soap batches in them if you want. You can test different fuels with them. They're made of lab quality glass, uh, borosilicate glass, very, very heavy duty. Um, and we're excited to have them. You can also see the other beakers that we have as well on the site. They're also on the website under our lab supply section. Uh, link down in the bottom as well. In biodiesel in general, we see biodiesel continuing to pick up on the homebrew scale. We noticed in February that there was a slight uptick in the amount of people that are interested in getting back into it. We think as the United States comes out of the deep thaw that it's in with this winter, we will see biodiesel start to pick up again diesel prices, at least in my neck of the woods in Syracuse, Utah, are running right at about $3.52 a gallon to $3.59 a gallon. Uh, we may be on track to see $4 a gallon by midsummer, and I've heard some people say that we may see it go as high as $5 a gallon. If you look at the fuel prices graph, what we're noticing, this is the one that's published by the Department of Energy, we're noticing that there is a steepening of the slope in how quickly the price of diesel fuel is climbing. There's many factors that might be feeding into this. If you visit it, again, link down in our description, you can read what the Department of Energy's take is on diesel prices in the United States. That's all for uh, biodiesel updates today. Uh, for more details or to keep updated with biodiesel information, be sure to visit our Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Utah Bio. Also visit our website at utahbio.com and sign up for our newsletter. You can sign up right on our website. Thanks again.